Yo, what's going on everybody? You've seen on screen, you've seen the thumbnail. Today we're going to be talking about Modern Warfare Season 4. And uh, yeah, Modern Warfare still sucks. The game still sucks. Um, but yeah, without out of the way, go follow the team vice on screen. And before we do get into this video, I know I'm playing against bots. I'm completely and utterly aware of it. That was the only way I could get you gameplay of both of the new guns, as well as both the new conversion kits in the second gameplay, as well as getting both of gameplay for both the maps relatively match. easily and I didn't have to go s sit through and play this and yeah they had a course so uh, yeah with that out of the way let's go and just get on in with this video here and another thing I do want to mention you're able to hear uh, the gameplay a little bit I did that just so you can kind of get a feeling of what it sounds like if you haven't seen it already or haven't played it already so uh, yeah let's just get right on to this video with that long intro out of the way Oh, where do I even start? Um, sorry, another thing to the intro. I also, in a lot of my videos, I'm talking to my friends or playing with my friends or they're in a party with me. That's why you don't hear uh, game audio because it also records my audio and you don't want to hear me talking twice. So, where do we even begin with this video, man? Oh my gosh, where do we begin? Well, for starters, the game is nearly 200 gigabits on PS4 now. It's 193. So there's that. Uh, Xbox is an 80 gigabit update. There's that. <laughs> the game's almost 200 gigabits of just pure trash and unwanted garbage. Um, Infinity Ward didn't listen to the community at all. They didn't listen to any of our complaints. And decided to do nothing that we asked for. Um, they, we got one map and one 3v3. So we got two maps. Whereas in normal seasons we get multiple like... I do believe season two we got back a lot. We got oh my gosh, uh, we got vacant and I do believe crash. We got two maps there, uh, both that they ruined. Uh, the uh, season three we got an eye incursion as well as I think a gunfight map and two other maps. Whatever. There's not a lot of content in this season. It's it's an 80 gig update on. Xbox and it's over 200 gigs. Oh, it's almost 200 gigabits of just pure garbage on PS4. I am so tempted to uninstall this game, but you know what? I paid my $80 and I said to myself that I'm gonna play this game through no matter how bad it is. I'm gonna play this game throughout the year. I'm going to try to stick through this game and I'm gonna try to play it out. Because at the end of the day, the game looks amazing, the game feels amazing, but it plays absolutely terribly. At that point, I said, where well, I want to try to play this game out. I, I don't know if I will. I really don't know if I will. I didn't even get 155 last season. I didn't get tier 100 last season. I haven't got tier 100 in any seasons. Because I can't stand this game. It's just terrible. It really is, man. And it sucks. It sucks. I usually don't like making a lot of these rant videos, but they're just so relieving i guess man to get this off my chest the game is terrible like it's terrible infinity ward refuses to listen to anybody i i don't i don't know what to do anymore like i really don't know what to do with this game like do i continue to play it do i just exclusively play warzone because that's the only thing that's some semi-fun do i continue to play the multiplayer just with friends and play maps like when they have Isle 9 and the new trench map, like, there really isn't much enjoyment out of this game unless there's Shoot House 24-7. Don't get me wrong, that is really fun. I love Shoot House 24-7. But, with the Season 4 update, yeah, it's just another update that caused a problem. Another update Infinity Ward didn't listen to us on. Another update that just did nothing. It, it, it did nothing. It was the most pointless. update is so pointless. Half the stuff that they mentioned in the patch notes is extremely vague. They don't... They aren't up front with their patch notes. I wouldn't be surprised if they buffed the RPG a second time in this update. Because they... I At this point, I don't even trust Infinity Ward to get their dang patch notes right. Okay? I don't even trust them to do that. Because I don't know what's going on with this game. I don't, Like, half the time, Exclusive Ace is coming out. Or, and saying like, oh, by the way, uh, the Dragonoff got buffed. Bet you guys didn't know about that. Bet you guys didn't know about the RPG buff. And if you did, it's from Exclusive Ace or somewhere else on the internet. It's not from Infinity Ward. Because their patch notes are always wrong. 
And it's getting to the point where it's habitual. It's habitual just terribleness. Like, every update that they put out for this game is just not good. Comboed with the fact that they literally now have made the game pay to win, need I add. The game has been made pay to f f mm, It's been made pay to win. You're seeing the Fineca here. It doesn't look that powerful in the gameplay. I didn't really get a whole lot of kills with it. But t let me tell you, this thing shreds kids, man. Like, put on one range attachment, and this thing shreds kids, dude. I mean, there is nothing you can do about it, dude. It's so overpowered. It has no recoil. It's just ridiculous, dude. This gun has no recoil, and is literally has a faster time to kill than the MP5. It is ridiculous, dude. The game is in a state of it's literally being pay to win. And here's the gameplay of the conversion kits. One of them makes it a semi-auto, and the other one makes it a first round. Don't use either of these conversion kits. They're better off without them. Uh, just like every single gun in this game. Infinity Ward can't give us a competent conversion kit that would actually be worth running, because why would they do that? And I'm also using attachments here. I'm not using the base gun like I was in the first one. But I... Dude, this game is getting just so beyond me stupid they've made the game pay to win they've only given us one new map a war zone 50 v 50 which i kind of want to talk about briefly they just copied fortnite i mean there's not much else to it it's just 50 v 50 on the war zone map you die you respawn you die you reset it's not fun it's the same thing we've seen a hundred times in a row on Fortnite. It's the same thing we can play on Fortnite and get a better Battle Royale experience that isn't just, you know, Modern Warfare. Um, even though the two are... Warzone and Modern Warfare are completely different games. I don't really care what you say. But I'm, I, there's that. They also gave us sticks. They gave us sticks. Infinity Ward's creativity level is so cool. They gave us sticks. I could go into my backyard and find a stick. And that's what they gave us. They gave us a stick as a melee weapon. Unbelievable, man. It's it's just... It's unbelievable, dude. This game is genuinely the worst Call of Duty. Hands down. Hands down, if it keeps going down this route. Like, I'm already bored of this season. I'm already bored of it, dude. And it's been like one day. And I'm bored of this season already. I just, I'm bored. <laughs> it's like, oh, cool, they changed Scrapyard a little bit. I mean, it's still Scrapyard. It plays terrible. Like, no, no surprise, like every other Modern Warfare map. I'm done. Like, I, I, I'm already bored of the season, dude. I'm just playing Warzone Duos, because they finally added it over, after three and a half years. Whatever, man. I, I'm done. I'm done ranting. If you guys did happen to enjoy this, I... I'm just glad I got this off my chest, and these videos do well, so maybe you guys enjoyed listening to me just get some stuff off my chest, incredibly unorganized, it's a rant, like I said, but I'll see you guys all later. Peace out, everybody. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.